Hey Crafty Queens, welcome back to my corner. Welcome if you're new. My name is Linda and we're in my craft corner. I have a haul for you guys today, um, a collective haul. So I did a little bit of shopping last week and I wanted to show you what I got. This first thing is a um, double-sided paper pack from Joann's. It's by Bella and Bloom. It also includes some foiled sheets. And I had been looking for a double-sided paper pack for a while that didn't cost like $30. So I went ahead and picked this up at Joann's, like I said, and it was $14.99, but I think it was like 30% off. So I ended up 30 or 40. So I ended up paying like $11, which I didn't think was a bad deal at all. Um, you can see here all of the different pages. Um, but I would like to actually flip through it with you. So let's get all that out of the way. Okay, so I think turning it this way would probably be easier to show you guys. Okay, so this first page is so pretty. You've actually got individual little pieces that you can cut out tags or I don't know what you would want to call them but I thought these were number one so pretty um, but then you've also got the foiling in there that also makes it even more pretty see that so you've got you are loved notes bloom where you're planted love and remember and then on the back side of that, we have like a marbled, very light marbled uh, colored page. And then we have some more tags over here. And that's, you know, the same as the front. So basically you get two sheets of each. Then we have this beautiful floral with all the different colors. And the back of that one is this beautiful paper. Then we have this one. Of course, I love this one because of the colors and because it is butterflies. Then we have the back of that one is just some uh, more florals on like a lavender color paper. And then this one as well, a little bit different though. And the back of that one is this, isn't that gorgeous? Love all the flowers. Then we have these pretty flowers. On the back of that one, we have this page. This is like a, like a periwinkle color. It's very pretty. And then we have, look at this, you guys. Oh, that foiling is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. The back of it has this, um, what would you call this? Kind of like a, not even a navy blue. It's lighter than that, but like a light or like a kind of a dark blue. Then we have this beautiful foiled page. Look at that. You see that foiling? How pretty, right? And then on the back of that one, we have this page, like a, pinky mauve kind of color and then we have these florals and I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's kind of like brighter in the middle and then it kind of gets darker on the edges can you see that it's very pretty and then on the back of that one we have the pretty purple polka dots that's also kind of like a periwinkle color and then we have this almost just looks like confetti and again, lighter in the middle, darker on the edges. Very pretty. On the back of that one, we have these beautiful florals. Then we have this one with these florals. And on the back, we have these pretty polka dots. And then we have this one and see how the edges are kind of like distressed looking it's really cool and then on the back of that 
we have this and then we have these let's see these aren't double are they no okay so we have these then on the back we have this one and this one is darker over here in this corner and then we have more of the confetti type <coughs> excuse me you guys i'm sorry about that my allergies are kicking my butt today anyway more uh confetti then on the back of that we have these flowers also very pretty these are just so springy slash summery to me they're so pretty we have this one and then this is on the back of that one then we have these pretty pink flowers and on the back of that we have this beautiful like sage green and then over here this is another beautiful foiled page isn't that pretty and then on the back of that one we have these these are really pretty you guys the color combination is so pretty i don't think the camera is really doing it justice then we have some more florals and butterflies over here with foiling look how pretty those are and then on the back of that we have these and then our last page is some more little cutouts that you can do love this moment thinking of you bloom and grow so lovely memories remember you are beautiful my favorite things grateful for and then of course you just have these beautiful tags up here and this page is also foiled as you can as you can tell yeah so that is my paper pad that i got like i said for about 11 bucks i thought that was a great deal you do get 36 sheets and this is the 12 by 12 printed cardstock okay let me get that out of the way uh next i have a few things from dollar tree i found some different dies that i had not seen before these are borders you've got this one this kind of curved one and then this one kind of looks like rainbows i guess you could say this is more like a scallop and then i found this one that has this the stars and then this um like wavy wavy line on there see thought those were really cute i found another set of stamps that i don't have yet and they're just the silicone stamps you get 10 pieces and where does it open oh here we go right There it is. And I just really liked these because they're just very spring and summer. Um, so you get this little like corner stamp with the leaves, this little flower, that little flower. You get this little um, label and then sunflower garden, beautiful sunflower. It's just like a little script stamp, the watering can, and the butterfly. But again, I thought those were really pretty. Then, this isn't craft related, but I found this Sassy and Chic Cleansy, Cleansing Duo Facial Brush. And I thought that this was cool to wash my face with. That way, and it's not real hard. Um... It's, it's soft, but at the same time, I think it kind of like will exfoliate a little bit. And then you've got this side 
that's just super, super soft. And so, um, yeah, I have a whole skincare routine that I do morning and night. And I thought this would just kind of allow me to scrub my face a little bit better. Then this was in the mother's day stuff, but it's a detangling comb with a shower handle. I'm not going to hang it in my shower. I'm going to use it for when I get out of the shower to like comb through my hair when it's wet. And I just liked it because it has the wide, wide teeth. And so, and plus I thought it was really pretty, the pink and the florals. So I went ahead and grabbed that for myself. That's it from Dollar Tree. Then I went to Goodwill and I usually don't find anything good you guys for crafting there but i did come across two little golden books so i found this one that's trolls and it was 99 cents and it wasn't on clearance or anything so i did pay 99 cents then i found this one the color kittens and it was also 99 cents and i'm I'm going to be making journals out of these. See, this one's a little bit, a little bit torn up, but I think this one's also older. Um, cause this one's called little golden books classic. I know this is newer because trolls haven't been around for that long. Does it have a year in here? Let's look. Um, Copyright. See, that always confuses me because it says copyright 1949, 1958, and 1986. Which one is it? <laughs> I don't know. But we all love our little golden books, um, those of us that journal. So, um, yeah, I'm just keeping my eye out for these anywhere I go because they're just so fun to junk journal with. And then the last thing that I got, so I never have a whole lot of luck with crafting stuff at my goodwill but i saw this behind the counter and it's never been opened and it was 3.99 i did pay the full price but this is a really heavy duty uh, punch and it's of a leaf and i thought you know what i need that in my life i don't have a whole lot of punches and i love them so anytime i come across them especially for a pretty good deal I like it yeah it seems like it's gonna be one of those that you do have to kind of use all your strength for but that's okay um, I'm trying to see do I have anything laying around here that I could show you mm. just do it with this envelope right here See, did it get it? No. Okay. I'm going to have to use both hands here. Let's see. Ooh. Now the thing's like stuck down. Uh oh. There it goes. It popped back out. Okay. So, yeah, that's cool. You do have to, like I said, use. A lot of your strength but but it's all right and then of course you could always use these as confetti or you know color them distress them whatever but um but yeah that's pretty cool like i said it was 3.99 i don't know i feel like I feel like punches are just so expensive, like ridiculously expensive. And so, um, yeah, I grabbed that and it just says, make your own confetti, make your own stickers. And they're just called cutouts. Yeah. So that's it for what I got. 
in the last week from stores, I will have a Timu haul for you guys here soon. And, oh, but also, since this video wasn't very long, I wanted to show you guys some projects that I've been working on. So, I have mostly been rhinestoning. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not. I do junk journaling, rhinestoning. Um, I do, what's it called? UV resin. Um, yeah, I do all kinds of stuff. So right now I'm working on this purple tumbler. The lid's broken. Um, I hauled this a while back from Hobby Lobby and it's just, you know, just a basic double walled tumbler, but I've been blinging it out. So I've been working on that. And then I've been working on a duck for a friend. And then I've been making earrings from my blank uh, wood from Hobby Lobby. I've been doing all kinds. I've done a purple pair. I've done 4th of July, yellow, silver, and black. And then I also had a green, a blue, and a pink, and I actually had someone buy those. So yeah, that's what I've been working on, and I've been just having a good old time. So anyway, like I said, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, my haul, and like I said, I'll be back with a Timu haul, but don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video for, uh, you know, to show others. And um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.